Hi everyone, I'm Katherine Drury, Director of Children's Ministries at St. Gregory the Great Episcopal Church in Athens, Georgia. This Sunday, May 31st, is a holy day, a holiday. Notice how those words sound alike? A holiday we will celebrate this Sunday is called Pentecost. Pentecost comes from the word for five or 50, it's 50 days after Easter, and it's the day when we celebrate God's gift to us of the Holy Spirit. Spirit sounds kind of mysterious, doesn't it? The Holy Spirit is our sustainer, the one whom God sent to take care of us. Jesus told the disciples that he's not going to leave them alone, that he would send them a helper. Well, let's hear about that Holy Spirit. This is the godly play story, The Mystery of Pentecost. It's a red box. Red is a color for Pentecost. It looks like a present, doesn't it? Let's see about this gift from God. Ah. Once there was a tower. The people building the tower worked together, they spoke the same language. But as the tower grew, they began to speak in different ways. The tower was getting closer to God. But the people forgot why they were building it. They grew so proud that each one began to think that they were a better builder even than God. Each thought, each group thought that they were better than the others. A huge noise, the babble of all their languages replaced the sound, and no one understood each other. And soon the tower fell. Well, they called it the Tower of Babel. The language of the people was broken into splinters, each one beautiful but broken. Then thousands of years passed and Jesus died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them, just as he is with us. People kept seeing him and feeling his presence. The disciples were in Jerusalem. Here they are. This is James, Andrew, John, James the Less, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Peter, Simon, and Thaddeus. There were only 11 because Judas had already died. Jesus led them out of the town to a mountain called Olivet, or as far as Bethany. There, something amazing happened. They saw Jesus go up, and soon the Holy Spirit would come down. They were so excited and filled with joy, and so they went back to town and went to the temple to pray. And then they went back to the upper room. There, with God's help, they chose Matthias to take Judas's place. Well, on Sunday, they were there in the room, and suddenly, great wind blew through the room. It was the Holy Spirit. So excited, it felt as if that wind was blowing on me now. felt as if they were on fire. The flame flew 
over their heads. Wow. And their tongues burned in their mouths. There were many people in the city at that time, all from different countries, speaking all different languages. But suddenly, the language didn't matter. The disciples went out into the streets, and the people could tell that they had been changed, that they had come so close to God, and God had come so, so close to them in a new way. The disciples had become apostles, and they told all the people, and suddenly the languages didn't matter. They could understand each other. The disciples went out into the world, God's word was spread. So now we remember God's gift to us is the Holy Spirit. I wonder what part of this story is about you. I wonder if there's any part of this story we could leave out, still have all the story we need. I wonder where you are in this story. I wonder if you can think of how you might feel the Holy Spirit within you. God helping you, God sustaining you, God loving you. Now, if you're one of our kids, I hope you've been getting your packages. This week, you've got some fake paper and a headband, I hope, or you'll get it soon. You can make a little flame headband for yourself to celebrate Pentecost. And um, let's see, we're going to have Bible school starting really soon. So Bible school is going to start on June 22nd. It will go on all summer. We'll have special activities each week that you can do at home. We'll send you a package with some materials to use. And um, then once a week, we're going to have a Zoom party. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you'll join us. Um, so thanks for coming. And have a great week. And happy Pentecost, everybody. It's like the birthday of the church. You could. Yeah. Happy birthday. Bye. <laughs>